Super Bowl of all events, the ceremony this afternoon. Without further ado, so I can get back and lower the volume, I'd like to introduce the 17th commander of the Professional Education Center, our leader. I'll play the Welcome to the Jungle music here in a second. But Colonel Kathy Cherry. Give it up, everybody. Well, you know, we have our resident DJ on staff here, and he loves this stuff, so appreciate it. Matt Sergeant Tebow, thank you for all coming out today. This is our kickoff event for the day of celebration honoring the 50 years that Professional Education Center has been here. Working on our campus today, the 20,000 personnel who come through our campus each year get to experience what it's like to be a part of the Professional Education Center and we strive to make it a positive experience. I won't go back. I have never been a coffee drinker, but we do even have a great luxury coffee machine over in Independence. We appreciate our staff and coordination with the cafe as well because they have started issues, so stay hydrated. There's water bottles at each station. Please take full use of those. Slips, trips, and falls, most of the route will be on EMS on standby. Go ahead and call that 911 number if there's an issue of extreme emergency and wildlife, please do not mess with the wildlife. There's a fluffle of bunnies running around here on camp, so please leave them alone. We'll see you all at Station One. Good morning, everyone. And each station represents a decade of everything that Peck accomplished during that decade. In addition to everything that Peck accomplished during a decade, you'll also see a banner dedicated to the pillars of H2F. So that'll be focused on mental health, spiritual health, physical health, nutrition, and sleep. Um, and, um, take your time at the stations. There will be an H2F representative at each station to kind of guide you through it, to show you an exercise. Um, there are body weight exercises at each station. Turn right around and then turn left at the end of this road. You'll see the banners. Have fun, everyone. Woo! as low as we can without our heels or toes coming off the ground. We got 10 reps. And this will be our first decade. Big takeaways in case you missed it. Lieutenant General Weber decided that we need the national work. Oh, it looks pretty. Was officially opened during this decade. Uh, and I train with a lot of them in the gym every day. 
So, systems and everything yes. and then trying to figure out where's our kind of place in the big scheme of things and yeah. we're still doing that today we still want we're meeting the needs of the national yeah. guard as yeah. best we can yeah. Yeah, absolutely and a very dynamic uh, area it's changing I mean, yes sir uh, it is and, uh, we have some people that are uh, back in delaware right now still yeah. remoting in uh, working on some things yes. Um, but I think they're already this year because we reacted quickly yeah. and made yes, sure that we're going to be there. So we've got seven classes we're putting on. Yeah, they want to be able to pull them out because that's because yeah, they're taking up the. Yeah, 
Well, it's, but it's, it's all the same. So that's the five pillars yeah. of holistic and health fitness. So you can Let's see if I can go Plus have some food and say that's a ceremony and someone wants to run with everything else that's taken like, from the ceremony. People are like, so, you know, if the ASI comes here, then, then you can actually be able to instruct to one or to they all give higher purpose and meaning and have and circle you and that ability to have those values. <laughs> joining us for this today. I would like to extend a special thanks to Lieutenant General John Jensen. I want to also extend thank you. We have various people who have been a part of PET for quite a long time here today. A dedication of key staff from PEC, the National Guard Bureau, Arkansas National Guard, and of the soldiers. A vision to build a facility that will stand out as a premier example for other installations across the 54 shops each year. This facility will prepare our soldiers for known and unknown challenges and to leverage holistic health in a way that allows them to prevail in the future. And what the facility means to the guard family. We celebrate the last 50 years of the Professional Education Center, the incredible history, what it's contributed to our nation's defense, being be able to utilize this facility to make themselves better, to become more resilient, and in the end, be prepared and more ready to fight and win. Every bit of himself in service to the nation. And every time that you come into the doors of this facility, you see his face, and you'll see his face here. Inspiring a future generation of warrior, again, to be ready to fight and win. What a great partnership it is. To the installation and what we do here to better serve soldiers and the 54. I got my headgear on, sir. Let's take the shovels and look up. <laughs> tracking at one o'clock directly down this road in front of how we were going to take a picture and then for those who are really concerned because I've been about asked about cake probably 50 times <laughs> yes we will have cake and we will be cutting cake so thank you again She got really close to the shovel. Um, yes, it was. I was thinking General Hook, General uh, Colonel Terry, General Here we go. We'll start the ceremony. I would say looking out in the crowd, y'all are looking really good today. So thank you for all for coming. This wonderful Arkansas weather that we got today. We got lucky. We got lucky. That 50th photo was a big deal. Thank you to the press that, that came out to join us. It's always hard being on the back side. <coughs> I saw hitting the water bottles pretty, pretty hard. Open it up. We might need to talk about that later. A little exertion going on. <laughs> Sir, how many people did you start this place off with? 26. 26. And we've grown, that this part is in the script, 400, over 450. 
and the invocation given by Chaplain David Woodward. Today's official party consists of the Governor of the Great State of Arkansas, the Honorable Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the Director of the Arkansas National Guard, Major General John Stubbs, and the Commander of the Professional Education Center, Colonel Kathy Cherry. submitted for a potential site to build the campus and Cat Robinson was selected out of 11 submissions. After 50 years of building readiness and developing the National Guard, the Art facility serves as a primary institute for supporting the National Guard's holistic health and fitness initiative. Create agile and adaptive leaders who embrace innovation. We look forward to another 50 years of building on General Weber's dream. Rest assured, Historic in their own lineage, these new battalions continue to build leaders who are trained and ready to meet tomorrow's challenges today. What we call the Personnel and Organizational Readiness Battalion. The ever persistent efforts to strategically and tactically stay ahead of these adversaries. I salute you for your exceptional service, and I send my very best wishes for a great day. Um, the podium actually goes up and down as well. Um, so, um, good afternoon, ma'am, sirs, distinguished guests. We've been starting off and, and six instructors with the over 450 employees we have today. All right, hey. Governor Sanders, General Stubbs, uh, distinguished visitors, uh, former staff members, and current staff members of the National Guard Professional Education Center. Thank you so much for being here with us. I just, we just really appreciate all of the hard work that went into this. Uh, you know, it's, it, it really is. It's a one-time of career event for for all of us. But today we have a lot of challenges. Uh, for our nation, for our Army, and of course for our Army National Guard. Uh, and then John, I know as the Adjutant General here, representing all of the Adjutant Generals that have created this great partnership previously in my addresses here that, you know, it really was a great start to, to, to my career to come here and learn what I live, learn. I got to talk about the partnership uh, that is the Arkansas National Guard and the Professional Education Center. We'll gallop through that. The next thing I get to do is uh, introduce my boss, the Commander-in-Chief. But before I do, uh, there are a lot of special folks in this room, right? So I'm proud to be an American. Uh, you think about how special that moniker is, Guardsman, and what it means, right? That unique constitutional duality, right? Where at the call of the governor, at the need of the state, we are ready to respond to protect our citizens and their valuable property, the things that they care about. And then in times of crisis, we are responsive to the needs of the president and national command authority to deploy, to go and fight and win our nation's wars. That's what we do as guardsmen, and that's special. Under the last 50 years have been extraordinary. The next 50 years are gonna be even better. You know, we, we did, uh, we talked about that at the groundbreaking uh, today, a new uh, combat performance uh, addition and what that's going to mean for the professional education center, what it's going to mean for the National Guard. For Little Rock, Little Rock, Sherwood, Jacksonville, the greater Little Rock metropolitan area, the Little Rock National Airport. Again, ma'am, thank you for your, your support. Thank you for your friendship. You know, it means everything, right? We deployed some soldiers last summer and respect for the job that they were doing. As the commander in chief I have, and I'm a blessed man to call you my boss. I'm thankful that you are. There is uh, no better tag anywhere in the country than the one that we have right here in Arkansas. It is such an honor. General Jensen, we're glad to have you here in Arkansas as well. Just don't get any other ideas about stealing General Stubbs back from us. We were glad to bring him back home where he belongs in Arkansas for Memorial Day ceremony. As you might imagine, and as I'm sure many of you have participated in, a Memorial Day ceremony is a very somber occasion. We know exactly who we need to call. We know who will rescue stranded drivers, who will deliver fresh water, and who will save 
disaster victims. It is the men and women of the National Guard. We count on our guardsmen because of their training, not just in combat, but in first aid, rescue operations, and so many other big moments. My 10 year old son, Huck, thought that that was the perfect time to interject his own voice and yells out at the top of his lungs in front of hundreds of people, hallelujah. 